Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a little while since I've detected. It's a little cool out today. So disregard the mask, it has nothing to do with COVID. It's just a little breezy today and I'm just getting over being sick. So I don't want to get sick again. But I'm using the Simplex today with the new 13 and a half inch coil. And I dug a quarter and I did a, dug another piece of junk. But when I pulled this next, it looks like to be a coin out. I knew it was bigger than a quarter. I asked David, he's down there. He's swinging the AT Max. I asked David, I said, you got a quarter in your pocket? Cause I couldn't find mine in my bag. I got a lot of junk in my bag. He's like, yeah, we measured it. This coin is bigger than a quarter. I just want to let you know, I had a guy send me a message saying that you got to use this 13 and a half inch coil in a clean area. I cried bull crap. He said that he knows the simplex in and out. I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. I said, because I can tell you right now, I can use this coil in an area that's not cleaned out. This area has got a lot of signals in, trust me. We're digging a lot of junk. But I'm gonna get you set up here and we're gonna check this coin out together. I haven't cleaned it yet. I have no idea what it is. It's a coin, I'm almost positive. But it looks like it might be an old one. So we're gonna find out together. Guys, I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna clean this together with David. David's been down here digging a lot here lately and he's been finding some awesome stuff. Unfortunately, me and Jordan's been out hunting. So we really haven't got a chance to dig with him. But he is doing phenomenal down here. And he asked if I wanted to come down. Unfortunately, I can see where I nicked it with my shovel. That makes me mad. But, anyways, I'm hoping this is a coin and not a token. Because it could possibly be a token. Because, like I said, I haven't really looked at it that good. Oh, no. I'm thinking it's going to be one of them stupid tokens that has a girl's butt on one side and her breast on the other side is what I think it is. I don't know. I can't tell. David's got a magnifying glass. So we're going to have to get David to look at it. And I'll get back with you. But I'm think No, nope, he don't even need it. Heads, you win. This side's going to say, tails, you lose. So, not a coin. But it is a token. Man, I was a little excited. I ain't going to lie. I thought this was going to be something old. So it is one of them play tokens. Dang it. Oh well, maybe next time. Here was another screaming signal. It come up 91, 92 on the simplex. It was folded over. You know, I've got tons of these, so I wanted to try to get it out a little bit so you could see it a little bit. Harmonica reed. You find these a lot around old home sites. So that's always a pretty cool find, I think. I think uh David has found a couple of the organ reeds too. You know, if you watched any of our other videos, you'll see a lot of them on here. So, organ, old organ reeds and harmonica reeds are pretty popular around old home sites. 91, 92 on the simplex. Okay, like I told you, I didn't really expect to get the camera out today. But here is another really, really cool find, which come up almost like silver. But it looks like a letter it even has a stamp on it like it would have had a stamp and there's a postmark and everything i can't wait to get that cleaned up better so i can give you a close-up of it it looks like maybe at one point in time there might have been something inside of it i don't want to mess with it too much because as you can see it's starting to fall apart but that is really hopefully maybe you can get a good view of it like that with the sunlight hitting it. I didn't check the hole too good. Let's see here real quick. I 
But I don't know if that's it. Anything else to it? If it is, I'll let you see it. But this is really cool. Like I said, it was coming up at 81, 82 on the Simplex. And I have never found anything quite like that. Have you guys ever seen anything like this? You can see on the back, it even has like a like a postmark here on the back also. So I don't know. I've never seen anything like it, but I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. All right, there was nothing else in the old, The only thing in the hole was an old square nail. So that was the other noise in there. But anyways, a cool little find. But to the guy that told me that you can't use the big coil in a trashy area, here's to another couple cool finds. And I've just really started using the Simplex here today. So it's hard to tell what else I might find. So you can see that token was probably a good, let's see here, it was probably a good six inches in the ground and like i said right here beside it i found a quarter and then some other piece of junk here but this came up as a, a decent signal when i dug it so you know you can use that big coil it don't have to be in a clean beach or anything like that you know don't listen to what a lot of people tell you just know your detector learn that detector that's the biggest thing if you know your detector you know what your detector is telling you you could have a 35 inch coil in there or a 40 inch coil whatever you know so just learn your detector that's the main thing you might not want to start out with a 13 and a half inch coil you're probably better off to start out with a stock coil and work your way up but learn your detector and you can dig in a trashy area like this and still find cool things well guys i don't know how well you can see this david just came into the vehicle looks like a shoe but it's actually a ring Looks like a nice silver ring. It's a little smashed. Maybe he can try to get it bent out and cleaned up and maybe we can get a little bit better close up of it. But cool find. I'll take a ring any day. All right, guys, I'm back out here in the park today right where me and Jordan find all of our rings. Uh, I got the Equinox today. I'm in park mode number two. I got everything air tested. I got the ground balanced. First interesting find. Well, maybe not so interesting. It's kind of sad. Uh, the next generation after us, you know, ain't going to be able to do much detecting when it comes to pennies anyways. Maybe that's a good thing for them. But I don't know if any of you guys find a lot of these kind of pennies like this that's pretty well ate away. I guess the zinc just don't hold up in the ground. But half a penny here in a couple more years, it wouldn't be nothing left. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Here come up it was an iffy signal honestly it was like um like a 19 jumping up to a 22 back to an 18 let's look at it real quick there's jumping around there was a 20. you can see it's jumping all around i figured it was going to be canslaw but when i popped the plug and stuck the pin pointer down here today i'm using dr otec it's a a uh, pin pointer that was sent to us to give out a little bit of a try not a bad not very bad for 49 dollars. it's waterproof uh only thing i don't like about it don't have the audible signal but it vibrates and the light here turns colors as you get closer to your object you can see there it's green there's red there goes the white and then you get an all complete buzz but anyways i uh flick this plug up and down here in the bottom of the hole let's see if i can get a close-up of it the gopro it looked really shiny almost looks like gold not real sure just yet let's get the shovel here and pluck it out of here oh yeah oh yes it's definitely gold hang on a second here i gotta i'm gonna lay this down here gotta readjust this 
clip I got on here. But here it is in the plug. There's no mistake in gold whenever you ever pop it out of the ground. I'm quite a few of you guys out there pop gold out before. It always comes out beautiful, shiny. I don't think this is a bazingo. This is something gold. Oh, I love the indentation. It's definitely gold. It's got to be gold. Come on. Oh, yeah, I can see. What is that? All right, 14 karat. Definitely 14 karat gold ring. <laughs> A wedding band, I guess. Uh, Man, I just love how gold comes out of the hole all the time. And it's heavy. 14 karat gold, and it's got some weight to it, too. On the Equinox, a funky number like I showed you. I don't understand it. I would have thought, being a ring, it would be a good, solid signal. But I guess because it was pretty much laying in the hole the way it looked, like, you know, like this. So I guess it was only picking up. Let's see here. Let's see this, what we get here. That don't sound too bad. I hear a little jump, not too much. Let's hear what it sounds like laying. See, that's the kind of signal I was thinking I'd get. That good, solid signal. But, as you heard, you don't get that when it's laying, I guess, in the hole flat up. But anyways, a gold ring. I was on a little bit of a dry spell with gold this year. So, I'll take that. I'm supposed to be in the woods hunting with Jordan today. But it's such a nice day, eh? Nice and warm. I'm out here popping gold. I love it. I think somebody's messing with me. Well, not really, but this is about six or seven of these today I've dug in here. And I'd never dig these. Maybe it's just because <clears throat> it's a 10 or 11 on the equinox maybe it's not coming up quite so good on another detector i'm not sure but it's a rogue beaver tail and that like i said that is actually five or six of them things i have dug today never dug them before i am today well guys i guess that's going to do it for me today it looks like i'm flashing i don't know how long that gives you once your battery's flashing but i'm figuring it's pretty dang close to being dead so if i don't find anything else good luck out there i didn't give this find here justice in the field i had no clue what i had in my hand i did some research posted a lot of stuff on uh, facebook groups and boy was i overwhelmed with all the different uh comments and stuff one of my friends heather parrott She's well knowledge into all that kind of stuff. And she said that's the only the second one that she's ever heard of anybody find. So without further ado, you know, I'm going to talk about this little envelope, which ends up which end up being a stamp holder. But the history behind this is really totally awesome. So I wanted to do do it a justice for this piece. Um, I'm just going to read off a description. I'm just going to read off a description here on Google. And it says, An unusual and rare Victorian American silver and enameled stamp case. The case is an envelope form, however, does not open in the usual way. It is a spring hinged and opens at the corner, which swings out to reveal the interior. The front of the case is enameled in a red with a George Washington two cent stamp and black cancellation mark applied over the, the date. The date on it was September the 19th, 1891, which here soon you'll see a little close up of it. Uh, so it was actually made in 1891 and it was made for Charles W. Glover, ESY. Well, after research, the ESY turned out to be an attorney. And 
I guess that's why, you know, he would be able to afford something extravagant like this. But the funniest part about it, our friend David, which you see on the channel, uh, he did a lot of research for me. It was cool. He even found the guy's tombstone, everything. But he was born in Ypsilanti, 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 Michigan is where this guy was from. He was born, raised, and died there. But we found it in Maryland. So it's just a, you know, a weird scenario. You wonder sometimes how you find things, you know, from Michigan to Maryland. So as you can see in the close-up, it's got a little spot here for the pop-up hinge over here in the left-hand corner. So it was made of sterling silver, which is marked inside there that it's sterling. But just a really, really cool find and a piece of American history that I've never seen before. And now you guys, hopefully, most of you are seeing it for the first time. If you've ever seen one or if you've ever found one, leave a comment below. I'd like to see if anybody else has found one of these. 